Today we're going to talk about growth inhibiting toxins and why you should care about them. People call me constantly, Gabe, my fish aren't growing. I don't understand why. Why aren't my fish growing? My other fish did just fine. In essence, we've all run the experiment one way or another. And growth inhibiting toxins basically are hormones that larger fish release. Now, they release these hormones in nature so that they never have any rivalry. In other words, the big discus are always the ones that control the breeding population and they get, can't get bumped off because if anybody hangs in too close proximity to them, they get bombarded with these hormones that restrict the growth of the smaller fish. So it's nature's way of controlling the top to stay as the breeding process and the breeding program. Um, people usually start out a tank, then later on they want to add more discus to their tank. Um, they order the smaller ones obviously because they are less expensive. And uh, by then their fish have already doubled or tripled in size. And then I always get the same call back where they tell me, Gabe, what's going on with the new discus? They're not growing at all. Um, and it's not till I find out later that they already had discus prior to the ones that I sent them and that the larger discus were doing great. And the fact that they added smaller discus now into the same system, they're not growing as quickly. And, and the problem is <clears throat> it's the growth inhibiting toxins or growth inhibiting hormones, however you want to call them. Uh, they've been studied in universities with different types of species. They've been studied with crustaceans. Um, and it actually is a phenomenon that happens. Um, when I first set up the hatchery in 1997, um, the system down the center, which is uh, filled with 125 gallon tanks, I put it on a central system. And I remember that I had larger discus in the system and I would put in the smaller discus and the smaller discus just would not grow, would not thrive. Um, and, you know, a lot of the times they ended up stunting and you know, I was really upset until I realized what it was. Um, nowadays we have all the tanks independent. The only central system that we keep in the hatchery is the breeding section that you guys know about because we realize that when one pair triggers, the pheromones are gonna trigger the rest of them, but that's the only reason why we keep that central system. Everything else is independent. Um, so in essence, um, this video is to let you guys know that it's not a wise idea to mix different sizes. And, and, and mind you, after 25 years, I've heard it all. Um, I've had people call me back and say, hey Gabe, that discus you sold me was half, two and a half inches and the rest of the fish in the tank were five and now he's almost their size. I don't think your theory uh, holds any water. Well, that's like the saying, grandma smoked till she was a hundred. You know, the way I look at it is how long would grandma have lasted if she hadn't smoked? You see what I'm saying? So the fact that that discus um, grew that much its potential of hitting nine or eight inches was taken away from him. You see what I'm saying? So he could have grown a lot more. He had the gene pool to grow a lot more. The fact that he was in there with larger fish, his growth also was stunted, even though he grew up to be as big as the ones in the tank. Uh, my suggestion, if you're gonna buy discus, try to get them all the same size. Um, you want to be within an inch and a half to two inch maximum. You don't want to be anything further than that because otherwise you're going to create the growth inhibiting toxin phenomenon and what you're going to end up with on the smaller discus is owls. And the reason why I say owls is because the eyes never stop growing. The eyes continue to grow. And what ends up happening is if the body's not growing and the eye continues to grow, I mean, we all know what an owl looks like, right? So that's what they're going to turn into. And, and we wouldn't be doing this video if this gets were 50 cents or a dollar, you know what I mean? But when you're investing 30, 40, 50 dollars on a fish, 
Um, it's a wise idea to take this into consideration. Most people don't even know about this. I get calls all the time, all the time. I bought this case from somebody else, from Joe Schmo, from whatever, and they were all stunted. And I'll be honest with you, you can't blame it on Joe Schmo or whoever they bought it from when the reality is that they already had larger discus and they were looking to add more discus but in essence they bought them small and I understand everybody wants to save a little bit of money and that's fine. I always try to ask what size are your discus that you have right now and you know try to match them and explain to people why or why not they should do it this way. Now if, if, if it's an issue with money my suggestion <clears throat> is get a smaller tank grow them out in the smaller tank away from the larger discus and then that will give those smaller discus a chance to grow. Remember it only takes about a year to hit five inches if they're given good, a good diet and good water changes. So if you want to do it that way by all means but please keep in mind that you know they will get stunted if they're in the same tank or in the same system because these hormones go straight through the water and we run, everybody has run the experiment. Now that I'm mentioning it, you guys all know that it's exactly what I'm telling you. You know, uh, without realizing we've all run the experiment. You know, when I was a hobbyist starting out, I did the same thing. Um, I, I introduced smaller discus and I realized that they weren't growing and I couldn't figure out why. But there was nobody to tell me why. I'm here to tell you why, okay? Um, if you have a central system with multiple tanks, it's not a wise idea to have them. Now, the skeptics are going to say, well, you know, if what you're saying is true, then what about the babies when they're born on the sides of the parents? Oh, okay, that's fine. The babies on the sides of the parents are eating the body slime off the parents, okay? And in doing so, they're picking up within the, the proteins that they pick up, they're picking up something which wipes out that growth inhibiting toxin and allows them to grow. Once they stop grazing off the sides of the parents, if you keep them in there too long, the parents will stunt the babies, okay? Please, please take that into consideration. When we have a big spawn of 300 or so, brothers and sisters, after a month, after the second month, after the third month, we literally have to separate that spawn because some will take off faster than others and even brothers to sisters they'll stunt themselves. So we try to take out the biggest ones, separate them to another tank, give the second batch, the, the original batch, a chance to grow and so on and so forth until we're finally left with maybe three or four tanks from one single spawn. And you have to do it that way because if not, three or four or five or 15 or 20 will take off like uh, the Dickens and then the next thing you know, they're retarding the growth of their brothers and sisters, okay? So growth inhibiting toxins do exist. We've all done experiments if you've had discus for a while in your own tanks. And word of advice is try not to mix different sizes. When you do buy your discus, try to get them all the same size. It'll help you, it'll help your discus grow together, um, less bullying against the smaller ones as well. And um, as usual, Thank you for watching. Sorry we took so long. It's been a crazy year with this COVID uh, hibernation and everybody becoming obvious. Um, I'm trying to find more time and uh, we have a couple of surprises for you this year. Uh, we are expanding and uh, we just signed a lease on the new property and we will be bringing you lots of videos on how we set up that gigantic place which as Jack and I talked about when I set up this original place, uh, we both asked each other, how the hell are we gonna fill this place up? And nowadays I can't even fit a 10 gallon in the original hatchery. So we'll see how the new hatchery works out. We decided that we're gonna keep both because this place has been around for 25 years. And so we look forward to doing many more videos with you. And I do apologize because we have been very swamped and I didn't have time. So welcome back, I'm here for you, and thank you for watching as usual.